Hi there, this is Amanda Coolis from Deep Checker, and today I'm going to go over the controller for your DTG2 or DTX2 remotely operated vehicles. So you'll notice here that there's an integrated screen, two joysticks, and a bunch of buttons. This is everything that you need to operate your remotely operated vehicles. So to give you a brief overview, I'm going to start with the buttons on the front pad here. So starting at the top left, you have your on and off. Moving downwards on the left, there is a reset button. This often will happen if you get uh, seaweed or any sort of things caught up in your thrusters. They will stop before they stall. Bring, up, bring back your ROV, clean them out, and just reset that fall. Uh, moving over towards the right, you have a camera with a circle. Uh, that is to have the camera tracking with your thrusters. So if the ROV is pointing down, the camera is going to point down. If, your camera, if you're pointing up, your camera is going to point up. In the middle, you have a lock. That means a pitch lock. Moving over, you have a camera with a line. That's bringing your camera just back to center. So if you're ever lost in space, you can bring it to face forward again. Furthest right, you have two lights. That's to turn on your auxiliary lighting if you do have it on your ROV. And then at the top, you have one light. That's to turn on the internal light on the ROV. Into the middle, you have a square with three lines. That's the menu button. That's going to open up some menus for you. And then the number one button turns on auto heading. And the number two has multifunction, it turns on auto depth, and also is the enter button when you're going through the menus. Moving up to the LED indicators at the top there. Uh, starting at the top left, you have two arrows pointing uh, in different directions with an exclamation mark beside them. This means there's no communication. This can happen if your tether's been cut or you haven't uh, connected your controller to the tether as well. Beside that, at the top right, we have an exclamation mark with a circle. What that means is that the pitch is, is not working, so the ROV can't go up and down. Uh, this can also happen if you're stuck against a wall or often if you haven't taken out your shipping screws on this G2 model. Moving down, you have an exclamation mark with either thruster. That means that there's a fault in one of your thrusters. This can happen again if there's something stuck in them, so they'll stop before they ever burn themselves out. One row down from that, you have low batteries for your controller and low batteries for your ROV. Uh, these will start blinking when they're low and then turn a complete red whenever they're, they're pretty much done. The bottom one on the left is your on indicator, so you know if it's red and illuminated that your ROV's on. And then to the right, you have a light indicator, so that tells you if it's on that your main light is on. Moving to the back, we have four buttons on your right side. So the outer up and down buttons on this right side is what control your camera. That's going to rotate the camera around. The inner up and down buttons on your right side is your gain or scrolling functions, which is another video. So that adjusts the speed of your ROV and also does some scrolling functions for your auxiliary equipment. On your left hand, the up and down on the outside is going to open and close your grabber arm if you do have it attached. And then the inner up and down is going to rotate that grabber arm. Lastly, the most important things on this controller is how you drive it around. So that's these two joysticks here. This is how all the magic happens. The left thumb here is what controls your thrusters. So that's going to take you forwards, backwards, left and right. And the right button is what controls your up and down, so pointing upwards or pointing downwards. It's adjusting our pitch. That's our patented system there. So if you pull back, what's going to happen in water is your ROV is going to point upwards. And if you push forward, your ROV is going to point downwards. And then in combination with your left joystick, you're going to move up and down. Lastly, something special with the DTX2 is your left and right on this right joystick. That's going to move you laterally. We have these vector thrusters on our DTX2, and all you have to do is push left and right here, and then you'll move side to side.